Her long, dark brown hair is often pulled back into a low ponytail. Her tan, wrinkled skin tells a story of a lifetime of hardships, controversy, and prison time. Her story is not cut clear, perhaps she's not a saint, but her contribution to the indigenous population in Argentina perhaps makes her something better. Her name is Milagro Sala. Milagro Sala's early life was not easy. She was born on January 27, 1964 in the Lower Asperado neighborhood of San Salvador de Bujui, and at 15 made the discovery that she was adopted and her biological mother had abandoned her in a cardboard box in front of a hospital. She ended up leaving the house where she was raised and instead lived among hustlers, drug dealers, thieves, and prostitutes. She got by by being a shoe shiner, robbing places with her friends, and abusing narcotics. But at the age of 18, she was caught and jailed. It was here in prison that she discovered her knack for activism. In prison, she organized a hunger strike which allowed her to be able to cook for her fellow female prisoners with better food. In her eight months in prison, she counseled other lower Asperado prostitutes toward changing their situation and leaving their environment. After getting out of prison, Sala joined the Argentine Working Center, where she gained nationwide notoriety for the power she obtained in the province of Puhi through the Association Burial Tupac Amor, or the Tupac Amor Neighborhood Association. This NGO manages a 200 million peso, or $50 million budget, at least 40 vehicles, and over 300 firearms registered in Renar. Its influence led to conflict with conservative political figures in Huhi. She's also had charges filed for death threats and destruction of property by Senator Gerardo Morales. She denied involvement in a 2009 incident in which two youths attacked Morales, asserting that the accusations are politically motivated and without proof. The Asociación Burial Tupac Amor is perhaps her most important work. The symbol and namesake of the NGO association was founded by Milagro Sala. The political ideology of the organization is represented by the historical figures of Tupac Amor, Che Guevara, and Eva Perón. They consider themselves indigenista, proclaiming the government of Bolivian President Evo Morales as a political model. Tupac Amor receives 7.9 million pesos per month for public housing construction subsidies from the national government. In 2019, she was sentenced to 13 years in prison for extortion and being the head of an illicit association. She maintains her innocence, and her defense will appeal to the decision. Amnesty International considers that Milagro Sala is being criminalized for peacefully exercising her rights to freedom of expression and protest, and along with other human rights groups have called for the granting of precautionary measures to guarantee the liberty of Milagro Sala along with the exercise of freedom of expression and the right to social protest in Argentina. Her lawyer has said that Argentina is a dictatorship of white men. They have gone after this woman, this indigenous woman, with a keen sense of vengeance. The very harshness of the attack on Sala has stopped her organization. There have been no protests in Huhui for the past three years, largely because of that repression. Milagro Sala has said that Gerardo Morales, the governor of Huhui, and her main adversary is afraid to face her in election. The persecution of Milagro Sala is more a political matter than a legal one. The allegations and the arguments before the courts will continue. Though she remains under strict house arrest, the story of Milagro Sala is not over. When she is released, Milagro Sala will emerge once more as the leader of a region, and now, because of the case, as a symbol of the fight against the old world order. It would be a tremendous thing if Milagro Sala, an indigenous woman, could ascend from her prison life to the heights of Argentina's political world.